The following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by... It is Freedom First Friday and we have Phil Barber back with us today talking about the importance of obtaining and managing your credit report. Welcome. Great to see you again. Well, great to be here. And yes. might I thank you also for allowing Dolly Parton to open for us today. I, I think know, that's great. right? That, that Go was home huge. and tell all my friends. <laughs> I know. We no. love her. All right, let's talk about obtaining your, and managing your credit report for a second. So first of all, how do you obtain your credit report? Well, there's a variety of ways. Uh, there's a lot of websites out there that offer free credit reports. But what folks should know about those is often they aren't based on the traditional FICO score that a lot of financials and banks uh, use and credit unions when they look at your credit. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can obtain uh, through annualcreditreport.com. That's okay. the site sponsored by the federal government. And the three credit reporting agencies, TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax, sponsor that. You won't get your score, but you'll get your history. And What's great is someone like myself at Freedom First, you can come see me and I could look at that and really give you a good analysis of where you could improve, maybe where you're very strong, even without the score. Okay, yeah. How do you, I mean, is it important to know your score though? Mm -hmm. Well, if you do something like Credit Karma, for example, they use a score based off TransUnion, mm -hmm. Equifax, TransUnion, Experian. They all have their own scoring models. FICO is the uh, traditional, uh, dates back to 1989. It first started getting used by a lot of uh, finance companies. But what makes that up, you know, is 35% uh, based on not having derogatory payment history, mm -hmm. about 15% based on having uh, the age of your credit, your debt burden. So there's things in there that really drive that score. And the higher the score, the theoretical less likelihood you are to be slow on making payments or uh, even automobile industry. Uh, the higher the score they've dictated, the less likely you are to be involved in a vehicular accident. So that's oh, why a okay, lot of insurance so that's why companies it's important. look too. Okay. All right. So when I get it, what am I looking at specifically on my credit report? Yeah. I mean, you're going to see debts broken down into categories. Mm -hmm. Revolving debt or think of a revolving door. It's something like a credit card that you can charge up, pay off, and then use again. So it doesn't necessarily ever go away. Uh, there's installment loans, which are things like your automobiles or your mortgage, something where you get a chunk of money up front mm -hmm. and you're gradually paying that back over time. And within those various types of credit accounts, you're going to see payment trends. Uh, hopefully every 30 days or within that monthly payment cycle, you're seeing continuous payments. And the longer that credit is out there, accounts generally after two, three years, it's really going to help bolster that credit score because you have some age and some established payment patterns, which is what we're looking at as bankers. Good pattern is important, right. What if I find a mistake on there? What yeah. do I do? Well, you panic. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> what you do is uh, you can, again, you, you, that's not uncommon. You can reach out directly to the credit bureaus where you've seen it, because Equifax, Experian, TransUnion, they all gather information differently, so mm -hmm. it's possible to have a mistake on one and not the other. Okay. So they all have their own uh, websites where you can go and trigger what we call a dispute. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that can be reported. They can work on that for you. Uh, and again, as bankers, you know, look at us. If you see something and you're, and you're concerned, definitely allow us to kind of take a look because there's right. varying degrees of how those mistakes can impact you. And you can always improve your report, right? Absolutely. How do we do that? Yeah, really uh, just age and payment history. Okay. So, uh, time will so take time care of it. So time will take care of it, exactly. All right, and that website one more time. Oh yeah, the annualcreditreport.com. Okay, is all right, I'm gonna use. definitely check that out. And of course, right. if you have any questions at all, you can head on over to Freedom First. There's several branches to serve your financial needs. They're on Facebook and Twitter. You can give them a call, 540-389-0244. Always great seeing you, thank you so much. Thank you. And we'll be right back.